The General's John Kutalavla Defence University's annual convocation was held yesterday at the Bandaranaike Memorial International Conference Hall in Colombo. The President attended as the chief guest. 246 students graduated at this event. So many are wondering, are we to stay or are we to go? In this background, as I said, I can't blame anyone for thinking we want to go. But all of you want a good future. First in your country, and if you can't find in your country, in another country. And the fact that you are thinking of going is also an admission that we, who are responsible for you, had failed in the last few years. After the experience of last year, we are now on the road to stability. Going from bankruptcy to stability is certainly not easy. How do we increase our revenue? At the same time, how do we reduce inflation? Those are really two difficult objectives to do at the same time. That we hope by end of this year, we will no longer be in deficit. As the economy goes, as GDP goes, for the first time, we will break even. So 2024 will be the year we will restart growth. Life is not going to be easy, but it means we are now on the road to recovery. But it is very clear that we can't go back to what we were, neither economically, neither socially, nor politically. Economically, I think we have lost every race. So we have to modernize and we have to change our thinking. First, it's like a battle. Only the fittest is going to survive. What is your economy? Like a good army, it has to be lean and it has to be mean. So it has to be very, very highly competitive. Now if you look around us, there are large number of countries with large population and people whose education level may be lower than ours. So they are the countries that can cater to the low-wage employment. I don't think we can stay in that stage anymore. If we are not going in, if we are not competitive as low-wage employment, where are we going? So the best is to take a giant leap and to become competitive, to become advanced. Those who are now advanced, in modern methods of management, in the modern methods of agriculture. And now what is left for us is to develop our manpower as a capital asset. What we want is more and more graduates coming out of this country who have all the top technology, all the knowledge that we need. So we are now talking of establishing a few more universities, civilian ones, on the KDU model. Don't again be thinking or arguing. You know what we have gone through. You know how to get out of it. It's like a battle. When you decide to stay here, remember you are taking a challenge which you can win, but it's finally up for you to decide.